Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we finally have Vivaldi 7.1 that's been released just a short while ago today on the 23rd of January. And this is our first major release of the year. And unlike Chrome and Brave and Edge, which are more or less on a three-week release schedule, Vivaldi is more or less on an eight-week release schedule. So with Vivaldi, there's always a couple of new features that are thrown in with the version upgrades due to that longer obviously release cycle. Now first of all once the update has been applied the browser version in bold is sitting on 7.1.3570.39 and the Chromium platform has also been bumped up to the latest release version 132 and that's 132.0.6834.110, which is exactly the same now as Google Chrome. And that will also include the three security fixes that rolled out for Chrome um, yesterday, which was late yesterday in my region. And just a quick recap, those will include three high severity flaws that were patched. And they are object corruption in V8 and out-of-bounds memory access in V8. So three security fixes addressing three high security flaws with that latest Chromium um, security patch. Now, it's focusing on the key highlights for Vivaldi 7.1. And there's quite a lot going on with this update. Where, as you can see, we have a new weather widget that's part of the dashboard that was rolled out and introduced in Vivaldi 7, which was a major version release um, late last year. So if you are using the dashboard, you click on add a widget and yeah, you can see weather, which now can also be um, added to your dashboard. And just take note though, when you first enable the weather widget, um, it will ask you obviously for your location and everything like that. So. And once that's all set up, you can get real-time updates for your location, as you can see. And then staying with the um, the widgets and the dashboard, because Vivaldi is focusing quite a lot of attention on the dashboard, there are two updates to basically better and improve the dashboard widgets, according to Vivaldi. And the first is background style options. So for this, if we just click on the little three-dotted menu on any um, of the widgets, You've got background style. So, um, yeah, you've got semi transparent, solid, semi transparent as mentioned, transparent, and custom. So, you can customize that with a color picker if you so wish. But um, in true Vivaldi style and fashion, there are plenty different um, options available to customize the browser, and the new widgets on the dashboard are no exception. And then the next one is web widget theme colors now. And web widgets can now pull colors from your Vivaldi theme. So for this one, if we just head into our settings quickly, just to show you what this is all about. And let's just change the theme. Let's pop paint on. And if we head back to our start page, you can see now that they will pull colors from your Vivaldi theme, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. Once again, packed with different customization options uh, in version 7.1. Now the next one I'm just going to mention, and there's a new import open tabs feature that apparently allows you to bring your active tabs from another browser directly into a Vivaldi which ensures your workflow remains uninterrupted and is also quite handy if you are setting up a new instance of the Vivaldi web browser and maybe moving across from another web browser. And apparently now there's also a simpler way to manage speed dials, which apparently now Vivaldi says adding new websites to the speed dial is apparently now a lot faster. And th this is just an image of the new ad speed dial dialog which I think if you are using the feature, I don't, but if you are using the feature, that may be a step in the right direction. And then moving on to the next, and there's a new send tab to device, which will um, let you share tabs between your Vivaldi enabled devices. Now don't get that mixed up with send to devices, send to your devices, which is already available. Um, desktop to mobile sharing using the send tab to device 
will be available though on January the 30th. So it hasn't rolled out. It's listed as a new feature. And that's just a quick um, image from the release notes. It's listed as a new feature, but desktop to mobile sharing will only be available on January the 30th. So I also think that's a nice move. And then the next new feature is there are now new default search engines. And the reason for this is Vivaldi says, and I'm quoting, to keep Vivaldi free and independent, we've made a small but important update changing some of our default search engines. So if we just head into our settings and we head over to our search engines, search page, yeah, you'll see there is start page, there's Ecosia, DuckDuckGo, and there's Quant, but I think that's region specific. I'm not seeing that. So basically, this is to, these are basically the search engines that generate revenue. So there are new default search engines now, which um, Vivaldi has listed with version 7.1. And then another, um, um, quite an important little uh, kind of improvement they've made to the browser is there's a new improvement for crash loops. And crash loops is something that Vivaldi has been battling with since the release of version 7. So once again, just to use an image from the release notes, they say that Vivaldi 7.1 can now detect and recover from these uh, glitches, which they say are rare, but they are happening for a couple of users from time to time. So guys, that's the key highlights for version 7.1. Now the change log from version 7.2.1 is massive. There is so much gain on. There are improvements. There are bug fixes. We've gone through the key highlights with the new features. There are crash fixes. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine crash fixes. And there's been quite a lot of crashes, as mentioned, since version 7 rolled out. So nine crash fixes and a lot of other little small improvements and tweaks and adjustments taking place under the hood. So um, if you are using Vivaldi, just make sure your browser is up to date sooner than later because it may address any potential issues that you are having. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.